Well, hello everyone. This is the Invader coming to you live from Canada. And uh, the reason for this video tonight is to basically let everybody out there know what type of guy this morbid actually is. Who also is Jim or Nam. Who also is Misery. Who also is Misery Box. Who also is Basketball Man. You name it, this guy changes his name because he has to take his channel down and replace it all the time because of the copyright problems and also with pissing people off that he's working with. Now, the reason uh, I'm bringing this uh, story to you tonight is because he had Wendy on his show last night, apparently. Um, well, here, here's a picture of Wendy on uh, the Morbid Show. Now, with Wendy, he, he brings her on basically whenever he, uh, he needs help basically promoting his channel. Now, with Wendy, he always basically, he never, never, has her on. He has his mods block her all the time. And uh, the reason he does this is because when he does block her, she tries desperately to get a hold of him. And she donates money, $100 at a time, basically leaving messages, Jim, or please have me on. I love you, blah, blah, blah. And she's done this uh, basically at like 700 I think almost to $900. He said he would give the money back. This is going back to 2020. Uh, he's never given a dime back. She's begged him many, many times to replace the money. He keeps saying he would. He never does. He basically uses Wendy every time and every chance he gets. Uh, it, it, it's sickening. I'm going to play some clips here, basically showing what type of scumbag he really is. Um, it shows you one, one clip, basically, Wendy asking about her, her money because uh, people kept saying, did you get your money back? And she would be crying on other streams that, no, he hasn't paid me back. She thinks uh, Jimmer's going to marry her because this is what Jimmer's put into her mind. Now, also with Jimmer, he, he's also another clip on here, basically, where he's you know, doesn't want people donating to her. He wants uh, people to donate to him. Um, this guy is just a scumbag. Uh, not only has he talked with little kids and groomed them, uh, he's done so many damn things. He's put people's names out there, had cam models' lives basically threatened by giving out their addresses and their full names. Now, even people, all the mods and things from all the places he's gone and started up, he's back. You know, it's backfired on him because he's basically betrayed these people and and, and put them to the side. And now even uh, the girl that was with him and other people that were big supporters of his, and I was once too, basically seeing the true light and seeing what type of character he truly is. He's a scumbag. And he'll fool you. He pretends uh, he cares. Um, he, does it, he does it for the money, obviously. He uses other people's material and then just basically calls it his own. Uh, this guy has got to be taken care of. I mean, uh, and if you keep supporting him, you're supporting a person who, who talks with little children about sex. I've got tapes on this too. I'm going to display them for the people that are new fans of his to, to show them exactly what type of guy this truly is. And if you want to support a man like this, you've got problems. You really do. Um, yes, he's very talented. Yes, he's, uh, he's good with gift with the gab. Um, but you know something? At the end of the day, basically, would you want someone like this taking care of your kids? It's, it's just sickening. But anyways, I want you to sit back, listen to this. You make up your own mind. And basically, if you want to support this type of guy, huh, good luck to you. Good. Wendy? Yes, Missouri? I know. <laughs> and, and Missouri, the only reason that Hansi told me to be careful around you is because he doesn't understand why you uh, didn't uh, donate all that money that I donated to you back. But I'm just saying, don't take it up with me, uh, take it up with Hansi. He's the one that asked me. Alright. Um. 
we're <laughs> so we're, we're in 2020, right? Yes, we are. How's your How's your rehab going? Good. Are you Are you, uh, are you walking again or No, uh, me and my mom is waiting uh for the people to call me still. Can I Can I ask you something? Yes, misery. You can ask me something. Um Is it possible that uh, you would ignore people that frost dog? Yes. And and Kyle and Zanes. Yes, I could do that. You could. Do they make you happy? Um, Ross does sort of cool, and Kyle, he's been sort of nice to me. I mean, he hasn't been like he was back then. We want to make sure that you're in a safe place, Wendy. And, and plus, I, and plus, Hansi and everybody still a little mad at me because they said that uh, they don't understand why Jimmer kept all my money I donated to him, and they kept asking me if he send the money back, and I told him I, no. Well, I don't think that they even know what they're talking about. I think they like to create stories. I think I hear people that like to laugh when they hear people cry because they think that that's a funny thing to do to people. But then they try to claim that it's not a game at all. And Wendy, you don't need to be involved in the games of sick people. Well, I don't mean to do that. It's just that, you know, I would just try to help. He will always well, have your back. Well, why do I keep hearing people saying, uh, did Jim ever give you back your money? He, they keep saying, and I have to keep telling them no. Because they're mean, nasty people. That's why. They <laughs> want you to think about the bad things with misery. The way that they feel... Because if they get into your head and your heart, they feel like they can take you away from him. They've well, taken they everything said, from him. Well, just, uh, excuse me, Jessica, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's just that they told, they told me that I donate over 700 and something dollars to him. If anyone's going to make you feel uncomfortable, you know who you can talk to, all right? And that's well, not okay. Well right, now, well, right now, what's making me uncomfortable is uh, Hansi keeps uh, mentioning to me and uh, a couple other people say, uh, did Mystery ever give you back all your money? And I said no, and they told me that they found out that I donated over 700 and something to Misery. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's not okay that they do that. It's not their business. It's not the, it, if that's a problem between if that's something that has happened that needs to be done in an appropriate manner. The way that they're doing it to you means that they're using your emotions, your feelings about misery, your feelings about them, and that's not okay. That's just not okay. And also, Kyle said that he spent all. The all the money I donated to misery, he Kyle said that he bought a fancy house. I'm here. I care about you very, very much. Okay. Yes. 
I just don't want you to be used by these people that are horrible. And I don't mean to put it that way, but uh, and and before I used to tell you just do whatever you want to do, what makes you happy. But this is not making you happy. I mean, can't be possible. I mean, are you happy being? I mean, again, I this is such I'm, a. Um, I'm happy when I can talk to you if you're if you're going to be around a lot. And I understand that, and I. I wish I could tell you that I'm going to be around a lot, right? Because yes, and I would love to see you on screen again. I miss watching you on screen. And I get that, only totally do. However, the reality is, sometimes I'm just not going to be able to do that. Hey, so, <laughs> so I got like a bunch of text messages from Wendy. She put. Hey, Hummer, my phone died, so I <laughs> asked my grandma phone, which it sucked because I can't. Us internet is me, Wendy. I hope you know I'm not happy right now. Fine, if you don't want talk, I guess going bed like I tell K Kitty. I need get out house, have so fun, but no money. All my money want two bills fuck you love <laughs> seeing me going nuts here fixed lost my god dame my all i know is i robing the bank tomorrow i off <laughs> bed night see you all in jail i see you all in the <laughs> the nut house wendy <laughs> can you imagine if she really Dude, in, in all seriousness jimmer i mean this girl, she's out of control, man. Yeah, I mean, come on. She's in, no. she's in uh, Discord all the time. I mean, it's just so old now. It's just so ridiculous. I didn't believe it because you want to see the good side of people. I mean, she's a nice girl, and I feel bad for her, but it's out of control. I mean, every fucking thing she says, it's about money and needing money. Every fucking yeah. message, every. It's. I mean, it's absurd. Yeah, I believe. I mean, I don't think Discord's for her. I'll put it that way. It's all about trying to find out who's going to send her money. And we were sending a lot of money. I mean, here and there. Not a whole lot, but we were sending her, you know. That was a lot. Well, Chris, of Chris, Chris Scum said um, the other night he periodically sends her money. Chris, he has her me uh, money. <laughs> he has her Venmo thing, and he'll send yeah. her money. You know, send and, me uh, money, Chris. What the fuck, man? Then I'll dude, do. Send... <laughs> fuck, went. I mean, I love Wendy. No, I really. You know what? I I just don't know anymore. It's it's crazy now. It's it's becoming every day, man. Same messages. Pay this. Pay that. I got all pay every my bill. all day oh, in the in oh. the in the Discord. Oh Lord, life is happening. It's coming to an end. No, Jennifer is the only one that caught on to it early. Remember, Jennifer used to hate her. <laughs> well, little humor man.